Have you ever wondered if a simple cold shower could impact your heart health? Today, we're diving into how cold showers can reduce inflammation and help prevent arterial clogging. In this video, we're gonna explore fascinating science behind cold showers, inflammation, and how they affect the arteries and overall cardiovascular system. Let's start with inflammation. Inflammation is your body's natural response to injury or infection, helping to protect and heal your tissues. However, chronic inflammation can be harmful, leading to conditions like atherosclerosis, which are clogged arteries. That's when we start getting plaque within the arteries. And chronic inflammation often results from prolonged exposure to irritants like poor diet, smoking, or even stress. In this persistent state, this is what damaged the endothelium. But inner lining of your blood vessels, the endothelium plays a crucial role in vascular health by maintaining the balance of vasodilation and vasoconstriction, well as preventing platelet aggregation and smooth muscle proliferation. When the endothelium is damaged, the inner part of the arteries, it becomes less effective at regulating these functions, leading to the buildup of fatty deposits or plaques. And these plaques can thicken and harden in these arteries a condition known as atherosclerosis. This is what restricts blood flow, and increases the risk of cardiovascular events like heart attacks and strokes. So let me tell you what happens when you take a cold shower. Your body goes through several physiological reactions. The cold temperature triggers vasoconstriction, the narrowing of the blood vessels to conserve heat. And once you warm up, your blood vessels undergo vasodilation, improving more blood flow. But this alternating pattern functions like vascular exercise, enhancing blood circulation and oxygen delivery to all the tissues in your body. This enhanced circulation supports cardiovascular health, and this is what maintains healthy blood pressure levels. And cold exposure is known to reduce inflammation by decreasing levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines, small proteins that signal the immune system to initiate an inflammatory response. And cold showers also activate brown adipose tissue, which is rich in mitochondria and burns calories to produce heat. The activation of this releases these anti-inflammatory molecules and helps reduce systemic inflammation. So as we reduce inflammation, these cold showers help protect the endothelium from damage. A healthier endothelium is better able to perform its functions, reducing the likelihood of building plaque as well as arterial clogging. And it's also important to understand that cold exposure triggers a sympathetic nervous system, increasing norepinephrine production. This neurotransmitter reduces stress and it boosts our mood by enhancing focus and alertness. Lowering stress significantly benefits our heart health. High cortisol levels of stress hormone is linked to increased inflammation and higher blood pressure. Cold showers help balance those cortisol levels, supporting the cardiovascular well being. There are numerous studies that highlight the benefits of cold exposure. For instance, research published in Medical Hypothesis suggests that regular cold exposure can reduce the incidence of common illnesses, improving overall health markers, including cardiovascular health. And to reap these benefits, you don't need to jump straight into an icy shower. People think it's gonna to be too cold. Yes, it will be. You want to start with a warm shower. You gradually want to lower the temperature for the last two minutes. Listen to your body and increase your tolerance over time. In summary, cold showers offer multifaceted approaches to improving cardiovascular health. Firstly, they reduce chronic inflammation by lowering pro-inflammatory cytokines and activating brown adipose tissue, which releases anti-inflammatory molecules. This reduction in inflammation helps protect our endothelium, that's the inner line of those blood vessels, from getting damaged. And secondly, by promoting vasoconstriction and vasodilation, cold showers improves blood circulation. This enhanced blood flow supports oxygen and nutrient delivery to the tissues, maintaining arterial health and potentially aiding in the prevention of plaque buildup. And thirdly, the activation of the sympathetic nervous system during cold exposure increases levels of norepinephrine, which helps reduce stress and improve our mood. Lower stress levels contribute to balanced cortisol levels, further reducing inflammation and supporting heart health. And lastly, while cold showers alone aren't a cure for cardiovascular diseases, 
But when we combine this with a healthy lifestyle, they can be a valuable tool in maintaining optimal health. So give cold showers a try and see how they work for you. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.